Hey Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you guys are doing great. So we still have the Sun in Aries and Venus in Aries. So self-care, self-love, compassion, the energy of Venus, which rules over material things, pleasures, everything that makes you feel love and happiness. So this moon is in Capricorn, ruled by Saturn. It's a malefic energy. Um, it can be dark. It can be um, depressed. Capricorn is about reputation, and the moon is here, so it has to do with um, things that are hidden coming to the surface, but I don't feel like there's anything dark or bad. Um, Okay, we have the devil. <laughs> we have toxic situations. A toxic person, perhaps, who could be trying to control you, manipulate a situation, have power. Chariot in the crossing. You're getting away from this person. You're, somebody is, you know, getting out of a situation. The energy of mother and child again it's the rescue me card nine of cups a wish comes true somebody could assist you six of pentacles in getting out of a situation you don't want to be in two of coin ten of cups is you happiness great happiness and joy somebody assists you they help you. They feel charitable. This affects the way you feel. So what is in the environment here? Knight of Swords. There could be drama. It came out with a King of Cups. But I think you're wanting someone loving and compassionate and caring and like a healer. There's a person around you today who could be flying off the handle, losing their temper. Why are they losing their temper? Oh, because they're, they probably want to be in control. But um, you're not under their thumb in any way. Chariot and the Crossing is like, I'm out of there. So what is the outcome here? Queen of Coins, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And um, somebody who's very practical, generous, kind. The Hierophant, Taurus. Religion, stability, institutions. Somebody who can grant mercy. Someone who can um, be merciful. Somebody who brings an order as well, like an orderly person. What is this Knight of Swords? Somebody flies off the handle. Who is flying off the handle? Okay, we, the tower. What is the tower about? Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficiency, independence, single. What is the Ten of Cups then for Aries? Could have to do with money. We have a Queen of Cups and a King of Air. So we have someone who's kind of harsh. They could be losing their temper. There's conflict. They're taking control. They don't show any love. You're wanting a person here to show love who is showing icy cold. What is the mother and child under underlying energy is rescuing? Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The strength, courage, strength. And Emperor, wow, so you're wanting to, re you might be wanting to rescue someone 
who you feel needs help. Okay, what is the Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant about? Money, wealth, abundance, banks, institutions, um, large systems. Wow, the death card. Something here is changing or ending. Nine of Cups is what comes in. So you're happy. What is the Nine of Cups about? Justice is being served here. Okay, so somebody is being rewarded for something that they've gone through. You could be the one helping them out as well. The death comes in to end a situation. Magician on the bottom with the Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Four of Cups. Okay, so what is this death energy right here? What is changing? What is the, it could be Scorpio. What is the death card for Aries today? Seven of Wands, fighting, standing up for yourself, being courageous, and the Wheel of Fortune starts to change. What is the Six of Coin? Somebody helps you out or you're helping someone out out of a situation here that's Ten of Swords. It feels very defeated. Knight of Cups. So there's like a knight in shining armor of sorts. What is this um, mother and child and page of pentacles? Temperance. Patience. The lovers in the could be a Sagittarius and the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, isolated. You could have a choice to make in love. What is the justice? The hermit could be Virgo. Could be withdrawing your energy. Knight of Coin, Earth sign energy that comes in. And what is the hairpin here? Three of Wands. And the three of swords. There's something here that's heartbreaking. It could be in a marriage situation. So a person here is deciding to move on out of that situation. Who or what is the knight of cups? Six of swords and magician. Could be a Gemini. Could be something you've manifested. Knight of wands. Nine of Swords and the Death card in Leo and Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay. So the outcome energy was Queen of Pentacles. Grounded, Earth sign energy, money, wealth, great abundance. But there's a change here. There's an, an ending. There's heartbreak and pain. And somebody is looking to move on. Now, you're, the energy coming into your awareness is that this is very happy. This is like a wish that comes true because justice is being served. There could be a choice in love for you as well. Triumph. The energy of a victory. Sacrifice, which is hangman. Self-sacrifice. You might be helping someone. And it feels like a self-sacrifice, but for some reason you're you're doing this out of the charitable kindness of your heart. Sacral chakra. Second chakra it has to do with socializing. And then we have here truth, the energy of justice being served. Truth and triumph. Death card comes in on the white horse to make a change happen where it won't be the same as it was. Trapped in fear. Somebody here could be trapped in fear and have financial and material change. But I do feel like you're going to overcome that. Okay, what else do we have here for Aries for the day? What do they need to see or acknowledge? What 
What does Aries need to see or acknowledge? The temple path, returning to your spiritual path, returning to spirituality, having faith. This patience card. all tied up it's this energy here of eight of swords like feeling like you don't have any freedom feeling like you can't do something you're limited and the happy family okay so everything pretty much works out and archangel raphael heart chakra healing okay Aries this is your daily reading it looks really good um, there's a lot of changes happening Pluto energy is definitely showing up with the death card uh, we have someone here around you who might be needing your help they need you to be strong and resilient and to help them in some way but it could also be you making a change in a change in your relationship maybe some of you are choosing to be single independent not codependent at all um, there's an energy here of being very resilient and with the chariot and the crossing this means you're you're moving forward very quickly out of a situation that could have been restrictive or restrained toxic in some way negative the devil is negative so you're getting out of that okay so i'm gonna leave it here for you thank you so much for stopping in please check my website starseed1111.com and take care